Welcome to Cellmap Machining Knowledge Base. The aim of this short video is to show you how to recalibrate the digital readout for your bow miter. This is your digital readout screen for your cutting angle. As you can see, as you turn the bow, your digits change to a new cutting position. From time to time, this will need to be recalibrated to make sure we're getting the correct cutting angle. To recalibrate the digital readout is very, very simple. You have a reset button on there. By pressing this reset button, it should bring all the digits to zero. As you can see, I've pressed the reset button and the digits haven't changed. This is because the limiter is on. So you have to go into the control panel to take the limiter off so you can reset the angle. Doing this, you have to press the set button down for quite a few seconds. As you can see, this gets you into the program mode. You need to go up to program nine. So as you see the arrow up there, up to program nine. Press enter, which is the far right one. You can see, yes, the limiter is on. If you press down to no, the limiter is off. Press enter and press set. Now if you watch now, if I press reset, all the digits will go to zero. So what we have to do here now, we have to swing the bow to 90 to 60 degrees and press reset. On the back of the machine, you'll see your 60 degree stop point. This here is factory set, so you need to swing the bow to this position and clamp the machine. So we swung the bow to the 60 degree set point and clamped the bow. We're going to reset the digital readout to 0, 0, 0. And then we're going to swing the bow 60 degrees back until the digital readout said 60, back to where it should be 90. This there we know for we're back at the 90 degree set point. Once we reach that figure, we're then going to reset it so it says 0, 0, 0. So simply, we've taken it from the 60 degree point, we've worked 60 degrees back by swinging the bow, and then we know we're at 0 degrees. So we're going to press the reset button and you'll see the digits go to 0. Now we're going to swing the bow 60 degrees until 60 is showing on the screen. As you can see there's 60 on the screen, so we've worked 60 degrees back from the 60 degree set point. Now we know we're at zero, so now we need to reset and we know we're cutting at 90 degrees. One little tip I'd like to share with you on when you're recalibrating the digital readout on the 440 DGSA saw is because it's a double mitering saw and you have two 60 degree set points, I'd recommend you only work off one side. So you only work off the left hand side or the right hand side. Secondly, if it's a new saw and it's been bolted to the ground, you may have to tweak with a spanner the set point bolts to get absolute accuracy. 